For all mankind, the popular Apple TV Plus series might be making history with a potential fifth season. Russians put the first man on the moon. That's steps away from nuclear war. There's no going back. Currently, it's one of the few Apple TV Plus shows to reach the four-season mark, and if renewed, it could become the first to hit five seasons. Renewal plans for the fifth season of Apple TV Plus series for all mankind have faced delays due to the 2023 strikes, which affected the entire production process. Unlike previous years, where renewals were announced while the current season was arising, this time the situation is different. Towards a self-sustaining Mars colony. Series co-creator Matt Walpert has expressed plans for a total of seven seasons, confirming talks about a fifth season. However, the lack of an official pickup and the impact of the writer's strike mean that a potential season 5 might not arrive until four to six months later than usual. Typically, each season of For All Mankind launches around 15 to 16 months after the previous one. The Hollywood strikes of 2023 have disrupted the show's development and co-creator Ben Nadivi mentioned that, for the first time in the show's history, they haven't started working on season 5 yet. This delay could push the release of season 5 into the back half of 2025, assuming everything stays on track. Now let's delve into what fans might expect from the upcoming season. Assuming the status quo behind the scenes, viewers can anticipate the return of key cast members. Joel Kinnaman as Edward Ald Baldwin, Ren Schmidt as Margot Madison, Chris Marshall as Daniel Poole, Cindy Wu as Kelly Baldwin, Carl Penner as Alida Rosales, Eddie Gathge as Dev Isa, Toby Cabell as Miles Dale, Tyner Rushing as Samantha Macy, Svetlana Efremova as Irina Morozova and Daniel Stone as Ellie Hobson. However, considering the show's tradition of the time jump between seasons, there's a chance that some characters might face unexpected fates. The show has a history of surprising twists, including character deaths, so fans should be prepared for potential changes in the cast. They're looking for guys just like us. While no official announcements regarding Season 5 have been made, we can infer potential storylines based on the conclusion of Season 4. The explosive finale of Season 4 left fans eagerly awaiting what's next. The conflict between Mike's team and the Helios strikers, culminating in Daniel's NASA team facing off, ended with a gunshot. Fortunately, no major character died, providing a welcome departure from the show's usual finale pattern. The aftermath of this conflict, combined with Marga's deception to save Alida from prison, will play the show's timeline as it enters the 2012 era in Season 5. The final moments of the episode already hinted at the future, with a flash forward to Mars showcasing Dev explode a crater and revealing mining activities on Goldilocks, the contested asteroid. I could be doing something that I never even dreamed of. The shift in power, favoring Halios, a private company, will have significant repercussions globally. As the show's timeline diverges further from our own, characters in America, Russia, and beyond will grapple with the consequences. Given the late 2025 release date assumption, a trailer for Season 5 might arrive in the first half of that year, provided the show gets renewed. However, in the unpredictable world of For All Mankind, where alternate histories and unexpected twists prevail, nothing is certain. Fans will have to wait patiently for official announcements and hope that the show continues its trajectory into a groundbreaking fifth season. For the next two years of your life, Mars is your new home. For more updates, subscribe to the Cineflix News and press the bell icon.